Hello everyone, my name is, Lu my name is Luna McGlitch. Welcome to part 4 of my Megman X Let's Play. Alright, as I've seen in part 3, I have beaten Armored Armadillo and Launch Octopus. And now, I'm going to go up against Boomerang Wanger. That said, without further ado, let's get this stage started. Oh yeah, like I already said in all stages, they do have heart containers and stuff, but this one I cannot get until later, because I need his weapon, so I'll have to go back to the stage and get the heart container right after I beat him. So I will revisit the stage right after I beat this boss, but I will cut it off, but at least show you how I get the heart. I only have to revisit, I believe, two stages. Actually, no, three stages. Whoops, wrong again. I have to revisit four stages, and this is one of them. I'll explain what the other three are later, but I'm not going to. I'm not going to revisit them until probably after I beat almost all the bosses. The heart container here, I cannot get, no matter how many times you try to dash over, it cannot be done. You need Boomer Kwanger's weapon to get this. Because I don't have it, I can't get it, but I will get it after I beat him, like I already said. New. Yes, I should use his. I should use his weapon. Actually, dang it, not a lot of energy in this tank. But, I'll have to do. And that take care of that Maverick. And what weapon do we get? This weapon is kind of like Rolling Cutter from Mega Man. Except that it's a little different. I'll explain why it's different, but um, I am going to revisit the stage now. But before I do that, I gotta do one thing, and I actually have to revisit Spark Mandrill stage. I'm not, I'm not cutting this off because I can go back here. This is gonna be very quick. But Boomerang Wanger stage is gonna be something a little bit different. See, if you go down this path right here, 
you will see that there is um, an energy tank or a sub tank. I need his weapon to get it. Nope. There. But the difference between um, rolling cutter and boomerang cutter is that rolling cutter, when you use it, it's gone. But with rolling cutter, take a look at the energy, the weapon energy. When it comes back, I regain the energy, and therefore, I can use it uh, over and over and over again. Making it so I can use it infinite times without having to waste everything. And when you revisit the stage, that's what this exit button is for. The only way for you to exit is that you have to have beaten the stage beforehand. As of seeing what I've done here. Then, I'll just save it. Now I'm going to revisit Boomerang Quanger's stage, and so I shall see you guys when I'm next to the heart. Alright, now that we are back, let's go ahead and get this heart container. And that takes care of that, so now let's just end the stage. So for right now, I'm going to go up against Sting Chameleon. We'll be getting our we'll be getting another heart container in the stage and another armor part as well. I only have one armor part and this is my second armor part. So how do you get this heart container is that you have to have already beaten Launch Octopus. Therefore, you can use the water gimmicks in this game to just get the heart container. There is another way to get it too as well, but I'm not going to show that off. I might show that off in a different video. But if I were to simply go up here, I'm going to go up against a mini boss, and then after this mini boss, I'm going to get, um... My, my next armor part. He's almost done. As you can see, he's um, sort of overloading because he's heating up. There. Now what armor part do we get? We got the body armor. Now what this body armor does is that it makes it so Every damage that I take has been divided in half. So if I take two damage without the armor, and with the armor, I'll only take one damage. This will help me a lot, go through stages a lot easier. Therefore, I can take damage so that I can deal the damage and take it at the same time. So I don't have to worry about dying in one hit. Or something.
Now this boss here is very easy because um, you can speed run this boss and beat him super fast. Just watch what I do, and if you repeat that, you're gonna beat this boss super fast. And that takes care of that. Leading us towards the end of our video. Well, not our video, my video. Just this part, part four. Alright, this leads to the end of part 4 of my Let's Play, back in the fart part 5, where I shall fight Storm Eagle, and also get another heart container and another armor upgrade. I will also be revisiting a few other stages in this part as well, trying to get every upgrade in the game in part 5. And so, with that said, my name is Linda Glitch, and I'm signing out.